In this video, we're going to be looking at how to adjust our page margins, orientation, and our page size. So for this video, we're going to be using our layout tab. If you are using Microsoft Office 26, uh, 2013 and lower, you are going to be looking for the page layout tab. So we click on layout or page layout. And the area we're going to be looking in is this right hand column. All right. So let us have a look at the orientation first. Orientation allows us to switch between our portrait or our landscape mode. If I click on landscape, you can now see that the page has turned to its side and now incorporates two pages as opposed to portrait, which only takes up one page. The other option we can look at is our page size. So if we click on the page size, we can choose the size we want from letter to A3 to A5. You can have a look and there are some presets for size options. If the size that you're looking for is not there, we can go to more paper size and we can find our selection up here. Or we can adjust the height and the width to correspond to what we are looking for. So if I decide to change the page size to A5, you can see it now goes to the actual A5 size. So if we print on A5, it is there. So let me change that back to an A4. And the last size we're looking at is what we call, or the last option we are looking at is what we call margins. So these gray rulers up here on the left, on the left and the top are our margins. If you do not see these margins, if we go to our view tab, this block up here that says ruler, you just click it. If it is not ticked, just tick it or click on it to get the tick and your margins or your ruler appears. So under layout, we can now go and change the size of our margins. What the margins means is it is selecting the printable area that we can work in. That is basics for margins, orientation and size.